lovely sweater party. What to wear? I have some ideas for you. Coming up. Hey, it's Chanel here bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing and be more creative too. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. I just love ugly sweater parties. <laughs> I don't know why. Just, uh, they're funny. I like, you know, I'm a costume designer. I actually love to do comedies. So this is right up my alley. <laughs> I think it's more of um, tacky sweaters, right? Um, and then, so Mike and I are having a party this weekend, um, ugly sweater, secret Santa party. And uh, we got the secret Santa. Uh, we always try to make silly gifts that people will fight over. And then you package them really nice so that they're, you know, instantly you're like, oh, that's a pretty one. And then you get this like silly gift. And then the ugly sweater. Now, I'm the host of it, so we can't participate in the contest, right? Um, because yeah, that wouldn't be fair. Anyway, <laughs> so we actually have a contest. We have three winners, uh, first, second, and third. And this year we're adding on a fourth. We're adding for the people who don't show up in any sweaters. I have a new vest for them, a silly Christmas vest that they have to wear. And, <laughs> and I'm gonna be handing them these, right? So I, I actually decorate them. Nobody comes to my party without a costume. And if you don't have one, you get one. <laughs> You can take it home if you want to. So, so the best place for getting your uh, ugly sweater, tacky sweater supplies is the dollar store. That's where I got these. These just kind of are the toppers to your outfits. Um, they have um, garlands and things to glue on. They have silly balls to glue on. They have. Um, well, here's another headpiece. This is going to be for Mike. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm doing with his. I have to. So the party's in a few days, and I have to get our outfits together. The last few years, we've been wearing the same ones, and I made. I think it was um, probably just before COVID, the Christmas before COVID. I made really went to town and made uh, some great costumes. This was mine last year, and um, or past few years. I think one year. It was a few years ago we actually even swapped i wore mike's and he wore mine so but this was like oh my gosh i actually won a few contests with this one and uh, it's just red velvet um not even is it sewn oh well i did hem it yeah of course uh, you don't have to hem it but i yeah hemmed the edges i made it so long ago i can't remember but i put pom-poms on here and it's just a red velvet there's no seams in here it's just a big oval and that uh, goes all the way <laughs> like that and it's front and back and i got these probably years ago at the dollar store they're just decorations and then these kind of little snowflakes are so great these are i think they even come self sticky and you can just stick them on places but these are just bows that i hot glue gun all over the place and if you do something like this don't think it's just going to take an hour this took so long oh my gosh hours and hours just for all the glue and then um, after a few years, they started to come off. You can also use double stick tape, um, but the hot glue gun's better. Um, and then sewing on, I think I hot glue gunned all the garland on too. So hot glue guns are your friend. <laughs> and um, I also found red gloves. That was really great. And then, of course, you always have to have a headpiece. So I actually made this. And um, this, this uh, big uh, bell here was at my ear. and. When I hear it, I think of that party, which was a great party, but uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, it was right by my ear. So watch that. Anyway, this was Mike's uh, shirt that I did for him. And now he works for UPS right here. And I took one of his UPS uniforms and um, I had to also make it, I couldn't ruin it. So I actually just hand stitched all of this stuff on. And it's a reindeer with a scarf and then you can get in it. So I just like, velcro this and you can get in it that way and then the back of it i got this idea from pinterest the back of it is the back of a reindeer with a little bell balls on it so he's walking around there's those bells i keep hearing them but uh, that was so fun and then he has a um his nickname is moose and he has this big moose hat that he wore last year um i think i had him wear um the year before on that just like a 
a moose antler kind of thing like that. Um, so always a topper on your head is always really good. Um, you can even get the Santa hats and then decorate them with garland, like this stuff all over the place. And these are at the dollar store. Look at, there's a lot of these. There's There was one there, it was uh, silver and white with cars on it. Um, these are gnomes like that. So this year, um, I have to uh, come up with something. Now, last year, my friend and I were at Walmart, and um, we were shopping around for supplies for a party, and she made me buy this sweater. Now I'm glad. I was like, I'm not going to wear it, and um, <laughs> so she made me buy this one. It was only like $20 or $25, and look at the work on it. This is like embroidered, with little pom-poms. Oh, my God, it's so cute. It's a little... It's that little taco chihuahua guy. It says Feliz Navidad, and then it's got the peppers and the cactus. I just love this sweater. Um, and last year it was too warm to wear it, so that poncho was good. And this year it's gonna be a little chillier, so I'm gonna wear this, but uh, I'm gonna wear a tank top underneath it because I gotta flash it off. Because when you're throwing a party, you have to like, you're working on doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> so um, so that's, I'm gonna wear that, and then I'll probably wear uh, definitely a headpiece without bells on my ear would be good and then mike's um uh, that's the problem if you're married you have to make your husband's too unless he's crafty and he can do stuff but this is an old hippie vest that we had from our chili cook-off uh hippie our hippie chili cook-off long story but um, um i had all kinds of emblems like 70s emblems on here um unless there's another vest out there i think i there might have been a second vest that um i made we have a, my costumes in my garage, so I have. To, I just pulled this out. I was like, I don't know if that's the same one, but I found this at the dollar store, just a tie. So I'm gonna put that on the vest or around his neck, and then, and then I'm gonna um, go to town and glue all these things um, on there, and then get some snowflakes and um, uh, things like. I actually even have some crowns, like like head crowns, like little stickers. I'm gonna put it on there, and then I gotta put, get a sign husband of queen of skirts that's what i might do so i'm not gonna worry too much about mine because i'm not in the contest hmm. but uh, so last year um my actually my friend stacy came this was her outfit she won first prize here's her first prize we had baskets for the first prize and, and through the third and then underneath that snowman is a a vodka bottle because we like to make martinis and all and I put it like little little gifts in there so I just had like a little wicker um, basket this was the it was like it was actually a trash can I think and, then, and this year I found tub, Santa tubs at the dollar store and I'm gonna put uh, we're gonna put beer vodka and um, like cheap wine in another one so that'll be the I think that's the third place winner this the beer went over well last year so it'll be second place but then we got beer nuts and um, other little things to put in there also we're having a new um winner and that's the person who comes with nothing <laughs> they don't wear nothing so they get the coal like the dollar store has chocolate coal so i'm gonna put coals in this funny little stocking that i found so that's what they win should we should we reward that though is the problem i don't know <laughs> but um that'll be fun um, this is just a cute little vest I've had for years even just something similar like this but I don't think this is ugly I'm actually going to a, a luncheon today um, holiday lunch and I think I'm gonna wear this although it doesn't really go with my skirt but it's fun it's festive I went, I went on to Pinterest and was looking because that's where that's where you start with such great ideas you this know? is somebody but a tree skirt you can get those at the dollar store and then these are all kinds of um, ornaments and things you can find and glue them on and then she's I love those lights with the um, I have those all from last year where they um, light up and stuff those are great and um and i love the stockings where do you find those but that's like candy cane stockings so that's a tree skirt right they have tree skirts for you know a dollar 25 now this is a uh, real creative a green long sweater wrapped with gold um gold garland and then there's like a i don't know how she did this but it's got it's kind of i don't know gotta get some wires out there and make like a a bottom right there with presents on it you could even yes yeah, she it looks like she might have wrapped presents in there that is so cute I love that she probably won on that one then um oh my gosh dress up the kids uh, this one I don't I think it's just adorable I wouldn't say ugly sweater on that one but oh my god it's just so adorable little vest vests are really simple to make I mean those little skirts they're they can be simple but again let me take a little time 
I love this one. It's a fireplace. So she found the, I've seen these sweaters before, the fireplace sweaters, and then she, you know, gave herself a foundation. I had to walk around like that all night. So that's the problem with that. But, <laughs> and then I, this is one of my favorites. Um, I got to do this one year. I get a stocking and she put happy catmus on it. And then a bottle of wine with a straw. That is <laughs> hilarious. And then of course, putting on, there's some more of those, all those little stickers and stuff. And then bracelets, you can wrap garland around and stuff. You don't want to put them around your neck because they, they're kind of itchy. So hopefully that helps spur your ideas of what you do. If you have a secret Santa, secret, if you have an ugly sweater party coming up, so many parties uh, but uh hopefully get creative because it's really fun so um go to the dollar stores think about some things what's there and then go to the joann's get some pom-poms or the dollar store might have the pom-poms and uh definitely headpiece scarves and have a fun holiday right dress up <laughs> make it fun anyway hope this was helpful and uh i'll see you in the next video